as opposed to earlier in the year where four guys. What is that like as players when you start having roles that you know, pretty clearly defined you can buy into? Um, I don't know. I just you kind of feel like you're in a routine. You kind of know, you know, like you said, what you're supposed to do. Um, coach was kind of talking to us about that. You know, we're gonna do our best when every guy's, you know, is doing his best at his role. So uh, we just know we gotta come out and do what we can for the team, and uh, that's what that's how we're gonna do our best. Well, what's the process like of figuring out what those roles are, and then growing into them, and then I guess the next thing would be accepting them. I think just you know throughout the year you kind of figure that out with with each and every guy. Um, what guys are doing best, you know, in their role. So, um, yeah, especially, especially late in the season, late in the season, you kind of find out, you know, you, you play a lot of games, you can see what guys can do, what guys can't do. Um, coach kind of lets you know what they expect out of you, um, things like that. So, you know, obviously it comes with, like, you know, you're getting better every day in practice, you know, doing the things you're supposed to do uh, when you get in the games, you know, being confident and just taking care of your business. Justin, do you feel like you have a difficult role? No, not at all. Can I shoot the ball, play some defense. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh, um, no, not really. I'm, I'm happy with my role and you know what I do, and I, you know, I try to do the best I can. At, you know what I do. So, to clarify, is your role to shoot the ball or is it to score? Uh, a lot of it shooting. You know, I've been shooting pretty well, so coach tells me to be confident when I get in. You know, if I get a good look, take it. You know, he's gonna be mad at me if I don't. Um, you know, he likes to say he likes the confidence I've been playing with lately, so he's got to build off of it. Can you take us through maybe how much better you feel, or coaches refer to your back injury at times, do you feel like this is the first time since you've been here, or first time this year, or just take us through like how you feel now compared to maybe what you were before? Oh, yeah, I feel great. Um, honestly, the first two months of the season, probably three months of the season, I just wasn't me. When I was out on the court in practice, um, I felt like I was just out there running around, honestly. I didn't have my strength, really. Uh, my back would still be bugging me. And, you know, it was hard to get confidence when, you, when you're playing through pain. Um, obviously, the injury I had is something you, gotta, you, you have to learn how to play through it. And, but, yeah, most definitely I feel a lot better now, healthy as I've ever felt. Justin, do you have, uh, like, tickets framed or the program or something for the last time you guys played Iowa? <laughs> no, nah, it's framed pretty well in my memory, though. You know, I got it. Pat down my memory pretty well, so that was a good memory. Um, that was like a, like it was a one-time crazy spurt, and everyone went nuts when you did it. And I know that's a really hard thing to replicate, but it seems like so far this year that you've been in, you've strung together maybe some more consistent performances. I'm just wondering, like, what what's led to that? How, how have you developed that you've been able to be a more kind of consistent guy after that, rather than like super high? And then right. Maybe not score. Uh, yeah, you know, just staying with the grind. Obviously, with the injury I had. Um, kind of had to take a few steps back and restart and you know reevaluate my first every day in practice. Um, but you know, just I'm focused on continuing to improve each and every day in practice. Um, whether that's an off day getting in the gym and getting up shots or uh, you know getting in practice, you know working on my defense, things like that. Um, but I would say my confidence is you know a lot better than last year. I feel like I feel more comfortable out there. Kyle, when, when Justin says that Coach Altman gets mad at him when, when he doesn't shoot, I'm sure that you see like his reactions to other people. How does it compare when, when other people pass up a, an open shot? No, nah, we, I mean, I tell Justin all the time, there's been a few times he's been open and hesitating, not shooting. We get mad at him because, you know, the majority of the time things go on in. So it's funny that, I mean, yeah, Coach knows he's a good shooter. He's out there to shoot, so he's going to want him to shoot it, but I wouldn't say it's anything too crazy. Justin, when since since you've been back from your injury, is um, w was it the defense that 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 sort of your injury hurt earlier in the year? Was it the shooting? What how, what were you affected by um, when 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 you weren't one hundred percent? Honestly, everything. I would say the biggest effect they had on me was mentally. Um, you know, just not like it's it took a big toll on my head just because like you know I wasn't getting sleep at night and everything. You know, it kind of just put me in a bad place. Uh, so it took me a while to get you know get myself back together and refocus on what's important and, you know, staying true to the process. But, yeah, I just, you know, my quickness wasn't there. You know, I wasn't as strong. Um, you know, so it made it hard to do everything pretty much. Mm -hmm. I mean, the one of you, this game last year, because of what had happened in January, was a pretty big win for a team that was still trying to solidify a spot in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And here we are again, ugly January, but you guys were kind of rebounding from that. Does it feel like that same type of, I want to say pressure, the same feeling? This is one of those wins that kind of solidify our spot. Um, I think we 
We think, you know, with every game going forward, it's kind of like that. We, you know, every game is going to be important at this point. You know, we got two, we got a great team coming up, you know, tomorrow and then another one on Sunday. So um, with every game, we got to come into that with that mindset, you know, that we, we need that way. And, you know, we, we want to play um, to our best every game. So um, I wouldn't say it's the same feel, but, you know, we're on a good roll right now. We just, we just need to stay doing what we're doing. Yeah. Justin, you mentioned how shooting is a big part of your role. How have you found that your shooting and your ability to attract defenders out to the three-point line has kind of opened up the rest of the, your game? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, with you know the way I shoot the ball, teams can't really be gapped up that much off of me. I don't need that much time to get the shot off. Um, I see a lot more now. Now, obviously, teams are being able to scout me out because I don't really play much in the beginning of the season. Um, teams are starting, you know, almost scouting reports and stuff. Um, so it's definitely different, but you know it opens up a lot more back cuts and you know I'm more active off the ball. You know I gotta be able to cut more. Um, mm -hmm. but, you know it helps when I feed Caleb in the post because usually when I feed, I just stay the same side and really can't help off of me. Then you mentioned shooting confidently right now. And Kyle said he, you got guys get mad at you when you pass up a good look. Just how much does that build your confidence knowing that they want you to shoot for this whole time? Oh yeah, it's great. Um, you know every time I get in the game, like I said, if I got a good look, I'm gonna take it. Um, you know, just knowing my teammates got my back, you know, they're trying to support me, you know, and trust me and take those shots. Um, it feels good. Kyle, um, there's been a lot of talk, obviously, about the, the motor that you play with, the energy that you bring to the court. Luca Garza, I wonder if that's a player. You, I guess, what are your thoughts on, on him? He seems to bring some of those things and, and a pretty energetic player. What was it like preparing for a guy like that? No, yeah, great player. You know, I've been seeing a lot of good things about him this year. He's having a fantastic year. So, you know, someone who's playing with just as much energy and, you know, going out there and, and doing what he's doing is it's fun. You always, as a competitor, you know, you want to play against, you know, the best guys. So seeing what kind of year he's had, you know, we're excited, you know, excited to go in there and play them. What, what kind of challenge is it to, to have to match the intensity, the um, aggressiveness that he brings when he goes, plays the whole, the whole game mm -hmm. up and down? What, what, what does it take to match when he plays? No, you know, just, just trying to go out there and do the same thing, you know, um, go out there and play with effort and energy every play, not taking plays off. 50-50 um, balls, all that stuff needs to be ours. So um, really just going out there, not taking off plays and playing hard the whole 40. Justin, would you say uh, you have the green light? It used to be something you guys would say or talk about. I mean, uh, not you have necessarily. the card to shoot whatever you want to shoot? Not necessarily. You know, my job when I get out there is, you know, take good looks, uh, you know, keep the ball moving, keep it popping, keep the defense on your heels. Um, I play off of other guys. That's what I do. They create shots for me. I don't create shots for myself. Um, so, you know, if I get a good, you know, CJ or Dwayne, you know, drives down the lane and my defender gets caught lacking, you know, and they kick it out to me, I'm going to shoot it. Is it uh, going to be tougher because of the scouting? I mean, when they see you come in. Right. I mean, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. You know, I, I know how much time I put in, how many shots I've gotten up, you know, so every time I get in, I shoot the same confidence. And, I feel like it's going in. When uh, <clears throat> someone like uh, Caleb has the misfortune of just sort of losing control of the ball when he's alone on a fast break, um, how do you guys handle that when you watch film? Do you just like fast forward through it? Do you pause it and give him a little crap for it? Like how, do, how do you guys handle that? Yeah, I remember we watched it and we were all laughing about it. <laughs> it was definitely a joke made about it in the film. I'm sure if we lost, it would have been a different, yeah. you know, scenario. But yeah. uh, it was funny. It was funny to see it. I was actually laughing on the bench when I saw it. I couldn't stop laughing. It was hilarious. Um, but you know, he's a great guy. Had a little mistake, so no big deal. I mean, I'm sure that happens to literally everyone who plays basketball for any for a long period of time. Like, how do you just do you just have to laugh at it to get over something like that? It's like he played well and you guys won, so I guess it's easier. Yeah. But. No, I guess, yeah, it's just, it's a thing that happens, you know, you're going to have plays like that, it's just try not to be hard on yourself about it and laugh about it, let it go at that point, yeah.